India is very energy hungry and if the net zero target for mitigating climate change has to be achieved then nuclear energy has to be an integral part of India's energy basket. I am standing inside the control room of the fast breeder test reactor, one of India's unique reactors which uses plutonium as fuel and breeds more fuel than it consumes. Waste to wealth in the nuclear sector is the motto of this particular reactor. The fast breeder test reactor has been working for more than three decades and has given what would be India's big next breeder reactor, the prototype fast breeder reactor. The PFBR has been more than two decades in the making, but the contribution of the fast breeder test reactor where I am standing is immense towards that. If India has to become energy secure, then the fast breeder test reactor has played its part. But the story doesn't end there. Today the FBTR is likely to be used for producing greener than green hydrogen, a new add-on in this particular sector. In the 21st century, only two countries are having operational breeder reactors, Russia and India. A difficult technology to master and India is progressing to master this fast breeder technology which uses sodium as coolant and produces more fuel than it burns. It may sound strange, but that is what a breeder reactor does. From inside the control room of the fast breeder test reactor at Kalpakam, Palla Bagla for NDTV. I am inside the control room of the fast breeder test reactor, a part of India's nuclear energy program and I am at Kalpakam in Tamil Nadu and I have with me Mr. Shanamugam ji, he is the station director for this very unique, one of a kind world's nuclear reactor. It is an experimental reactor, but it has many unique qualities. Uh, Mr. Shanamugam, very briefly tell me what is fast breeder test reactor? FBTR is a fast breeder test reactor. It uses plutonium carbide as a fuel and it is, it is using the high neutron energy as a source for the fission reaction. When compared to thermal reactor, the energy in the fast reactor is in the, in the range of KeV and MeV, I mean million electron volt. So it is a fast reactor uses plutonium carbide as a fuel, plutonium carbide and uranium carbide as a mixture of uh, PU and uh, uranium carbide and it has high fluence that is it produces a lot the flux level is high when compared to thermal reactor so why how many countries in the world today have an operating breeder reactor only india and the russia is having the running operating reactor fast reactor now why, why is it advantageous to have a breeder reactor in order to utilize the effective utilization of the uranium resource effectively the fast reactor is required because in thermal reactor the energy produced from the unit uh, uranium is very less it is a 20 to 50 times less than the fast reactor so to effective utilization of uranium the fast reactor is required in addition to convert the fertile thoria which is available large amount in our India to convert the thoria into uranium-233 which is a, which can be a huge potential for the future fast reactor, fast reactor is required. Now, why does India need to do breeders? Why do we need breeders? Do we have enough uranium and if we use uh, breeding, how many years can India's own thorium fuel last? 
the existing thoria resource we can go for more than 500 millions of units of energy we can produce in the future so the efitor is a second stage of nuclear power program using the plutonium from the reprocessed plutonium from the thermal reactor is used for producing the energy and in addition it breeds the fuel from the thoria which is kept as a blanket so we will get a uranium 233 which will can be used for the third stage of the nuclear power program so in a way the world when it does your energy from uranium the plutonium becomes a waste so india is not wasting that plutonium india is using that plutonium for a breeder reactor and then using thorium for the stage beyond that so waste to wealth is that a, a good yeah. phrase to categorize india's nuclear energy yeah yeah it is one of the best method because if we have yeah, if we do not have the first reactor the whatever the fuel produced fuel burned in the the thermal reactor plutonium is one of the waste that waste we cannot uh, uh, dispose very easily because it is having large u of large of life so by using the th- fast reactors the whatever the waste produced from the thermal reactor is usable as a wealth in our country so it is a huge potential energy potential available to extract from the waste to wealth now beyond this are we doing something for increasing the capacity because the fast breeder test reactor produces only 14 megawatts of electricity what is the state of our prototype fast breeder reactor is that is this the test bed for the prototype fast breeder reactor if it here this is a what of the second stage program it is a test reactor for producing the fast reactor fuel and structural material the second the in addition after this we have lot of the challenges we face is the high temperature the fuel uh, structural material development and uh, the sodium technology mastering the all three things are we have mastered and with this we are constructing a bovini 500 megawatt electrical reactor which will soon become critical in the coming year so now, this is a now how is it fast it has been 38 years running yeah. and you still don't have the prototype fast yeah. breeder reactor which yeah. is 20 years in the making yeah so how is it fast yeah fast means uh, the neutron energy level is fast it is not a uh, breeding fast it is only a neutron energy which we are using in the fetr and fbr is uh, in the in terms of millions of electron volt it is not a, a breeding fast the breeding is purely a normal process which is uh, depending upon our operating time it will be converted into now what is the state there is a thought process that the fast breeder test reactor can also be used for producing green hydrogen yeah. because green hydrogen yeah. is considered along with nuclear energy the fuel of the future what is the idea and planning around that yeah in the first reactor we are producing a superheated steam at 480 degree celsius temperature this is one of the uh we are having a potential to produce part of steam which is which we which we can use it for demonstrating the feasibility of the superheated steam produced from our fdr is used in the uh power production of the hydrogen using high temperature electrolyzer which we are planning in the future so you would consider fbtr a success story or is it something which is kind of still cooking fbtr is one of the we can say that what last 38 years it is very successfully the fbtr is has been operated and very it is the only a success we have mastered many of the obstacle from the starting uh, namely the sodium technology mastering the mastering of the fuel technology mastering of the the instrumentation which is required for the sodium sodium technology also we mastered and this is only a success story of fdr so that was mr shanmugam ji 
the station director for fast breeder test reactor, telling us that the fast breeder test reactor, which is one of its kind in India and the world, is a big success story. And now the Department of Atomic Energy is also planning to add hydrogen, and hydrogen would be an add-on. So a greener than green hydrogen to be linked to FBTR. So the experimentation continues with the fast breeder test reactor and we eagerly await its bigger cousin, the prototype fast breeder reactor, which will be the second stage of India's nuclear energy program. And if all goes well, India can become energy independent and Nuclear energy offers a low carbon or a carbon free source of energy in times of climate change. Nuclear energy is part of the solution for the net zero target which Prime Minister Narendra Modi has set. From inside the control room of the fast breeder test reactor at Kalpakam, Pallava Bagla for NDTV.